schlepped all the way up to Barnes and Noble when it was still there by the Lincoln Center. Aww. And I bought this little doohickey of a book, A Little Bit Wicked. And I told someone that I got I didn't know this it. existed. This yes. exists. What do you think of hair extensions? But I do have to say she was quite delightful. She signed my book and she told me I had wonderful hair. Ta-da! Oh. <laughs> This was before everything. I can't even explain how amazing this all is. Find this in a bookstore and my mom look thought at the it was a little racy. Why? <laughs> Life's it's too that short. At nine. I'm not. Just a little bit wicked. Inside that said Exo Kristen. So I had one of my friends come over the other week mm -hmm. and we were talking in babbles and bobbles. And I, and I thought, when I die, people can go through my books, because I love books. This is my bookshelf. It's, it's so upsetting that we have these nooks and kindles nowadays. Because it's not I the like same. a hard, if I need a hard copy in my hand. So I was thinking, you know, what if, like, I just started writing things in my books? Wait, you... No, 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 that's real. So I have this little book called The Secret. I got it for free on the street. Unlocking the source of joy and fulfillment. Michael Berg. Have you not heard so about my the friend secret? went in there and she goes, Congrats, Ricky. You've unlocked it. XO and B. <laughs> Tragedy tomorrow. Comedy tonight. Five, six, seven, eight. Stop staring at yourself. Split. Is that you here? Right? No, that's Alicia. Oh. There's no light on our faces. How's your tea? Uh. You missed the button. But add a lump. But add a lump. You're supposed to speak the button. But add a lump. Ah. Yes. Hey. Oh, can we? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm obsessed with this. In the overture, that's the first thing you hear, and it goes. <laughs> That's the way that starts. So then you hear Spender and you're like Because you're not expecting it. Yeah. I love overture. You know the Candide overture, right? I put it. I put it. I put it. Mm -hmm. Outside. Which is that major second of bum ba da dum ba dum. I need the patty one is no. I don't have the patty one, but it's not my favorite. It's a little too bright for me. Bright? That French one. French one again. French ones get all the good lines. Idea where he went. You'll be swell. Again, the French horn. Again. We have so much in common. None. None. Here I am, Chip. 
to Bernadette's trumpet mm. player at the end, though. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> badass, right? What mm. else are we going to listen to? Oh, Candide. Yeah, but, Candide, uh, please. So do you know this or do you know of this? Of it. Again, the print horn. Here we go. Just perfect. We are women. We are women. So good. It's really good. It's really a fantastic recording. We're speaking, of course, of Kristen Chenoweth and Patty Lapone in Candide. Ole. Yes, we always mention Patty. We must, apparently. Yeah. Wait. Can we watch We Are Women first? Yeah. Do you have a new computer? No, this is good. <laughs> Patty's so short too, but she, she looks huge. Right? Patty, she does. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's giving me, <laughs> we fly! Oh, well, we fly. What's her name from Hocus Pocus? Oh my god. Uh, Kathy or Jamie? Yes. <laughs> Patty face. Patty face, Patty face. Take her. <laughs> <laughs> Leap to me. My song. You go. <laughs> she is the best. That's Instagram for you not letting me look up what I wanted to look up. There's nothing better than seeing an actor actually laughing. Mm -hmm. I think there's nothing more satisfying. I scratch my back. Try a little lower. <laughs> Who's Ernie Manhouse? Man I remember the interview when Patty was like, they changed the keys. No. I never show you this? No, I want to see hers first though. In studios, anything goes. If a door opens, you don't have to jump, but certainly peek in. I like that. You know, Freddie and John. Who are they? Lenny and Arthur and Steven. She just said that. Another outstanding dinner personality, a delightful young lady who is truly a devoted Ranger fan. Last year's Emmy Award winner for her magnificent performances in the hit show Avita, here's Patty Lapone to sing our national anthem. This is the real. Just standing there and singing. I'm cold. Flip it. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. 
She would often sing the national anthem at playoff games at 7.30 and rush to the theater for her 8 o'clock curtain. Fun kids. <laughs>